Hey, it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I'm leaving the Costco gas pump. Gas here is $3.22 a gallon. Premium's only $3.37. Sometimes there's a big price difference between regular and premium, but not today. I am headed to Walmart. We're gonna do a little shopping. I might do a shop with me video. I need a few things. Um, tomorrow, if I can do it, we're gonna make a video making salmon patties. I think I've actually done a video making salmon patties before, the way my mom used to make them. This recipe's a little different. These are, what are these called? Southern fried salmon patties. It's a recipe I found on Facebook. It's really not all that different, but I thought I would, uh, I thought I would do it. It looks pretty simple, and honestly, after my traumatic experience with those damn muffins, I kind of feel like I need a, a recipe that I know is going to be simple. Get these ingredients, dump them in a bowl, mix them up, and fry them. The end. I think I can handle that. I thought the muffins were going to be easy. Hell, that took 10 years off of my life trying to make those stupid things. I don't ever want to see muffins again. A whole lot happened yesterday afternoon, I have to tell you about. I'm still, I'm dealing with the siding saga. Um, here's, here's, this was my original plan. I thought, okay, they said that the owner of the construction company that did the siding on the back of my house was going to contact me and come by my house Tuesday, yesterday. Well, I never heard from anybody with the, the construction company. Nobody contacted me. Nobody came by. Nothing happened. And I tried to call Jason with Paradise, and maybe he was out of the office yesterday. He didn't answer. But because of all the events that took place yesterday, I had to leave him three voicemails get, getting updating him on what was going on. Originally, I had decided I was going to wait until the, cons the, the construction company owner came by and I'm thinking, what are the odds that this construction company owner is going to come out here and go, hmm, yeah, this work that my people did, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it. Looks fine to me. I, what are you talking about, water leak? What's water? I don't even know what you're talking about. You're talking crazy right now, water. <laughs> oh, honey, no. No, it's supposed to leak like that. Did you not? You probably didn't know. I mean, you don't know anything about anything, but... Yeah, that, that's supposed to happen. Yeah, so it was probably already doing that before my guys came out and installed your siding. So, <laughs> all right, little girl, have a good day. That's kind of how I figured it would go, but I was willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they'll come out and be honest and go, yeah, we fucked up. Well, that didn't, I, I was going to wait until I heard what they had to say, and then I would decide whether or not to file something with my homeowner's insurance. I thought, I think that's going to be my next step. I'm going to talk to my homeowner's insurance and possibly file a claim with them because you, we have water damage here. Let's, uh, let's talk to, at least talk to the homeowner's insurance people and see what they say. Well, after dude didn't uh, call me or come by and I heard nothing further from Paradise one way or the other, and I, I called and left Jason a message. That was, I think that was the first or second message. I said, yeah, I never heard anything you said he was coming by today and they were gonna contact me. Nobody contacted me, nobody came by. So, just letting you know. Then I decided, let me go ahead and call my homeowner's insurance people. Let me go ahead and talk to them and explain what's going on and just see what they think. I mean, just get an idea from them of what to do, what to do now. So, I called my homeowner's insurance people. They were really great. They're actually really, really nice, really helpful and they said, yeah, we will have somebody in touch with you within 24 hours. Well, hell, within 20 minutes, somebody had already called me, uh, a claims adjuster or somebody called me and, you know, asked me to, you know, can you just explain again what happened? Because the notes he had were not quite right. Um, so I explained it to him. He said, yeah, let's, um, let's get somebody out there to look at it. Let's just go ahead and look and see what's going on. I said, thank you. That's what I've been saying. I just want somebody to come look at it. I'm hoping, I am hoping that there's no problem. I don't want a problem, but I don't know if there's a problem. All that water back there, you know, is there mold back there? Do we have, do we have, do we need to do something? 
That's all I want to know. And Paradise doesn't even want to have anybody come look at it. Well, they said the construction company owner was going to come out, but that didn't happen. The only person who's looked at it so far was Sydney from home from Paradise Home Improvement. And he said, yeah, yeah, that was 100% our fault. We created that problem right there. That's 100% on us. The only person who has laid eyes on it other than me says it's Paradise's fault. 100%. And that they even asked him, he told me, you know, is there any way this isn't our fault? Like, no, <laughs> this is 100% our fault. Sorry. Yeah, we did that. Sydney told me that I cannot remember what it's called and forgive me. I don't know anything about construction materials. <laughs> I don't. He said there was something in there. Um, shoot. Vapor barrier, vapor something. And he said that the vapor stuff, vapor wave, no, I think it was vapor, bar vapor barrier or something, can absorb a lot of water safely and it's not a problem. He said that it should be fine. But my thing is we don't know. We don't know if it's fine or not. You know, we haven't really looked back there to see. So I just... That's what I've been saying all along to Paradise Home Improvement. I just want to look back there behind the siding. You know, it may be fine. We may peel it back and everything's fine. It's all good. That may very well happen. But we don't know until we look. They don't even want to look. They want me to just shut up and go away. Wow, you know me. I'm not going to shut up and go anywhere until I get some answers. I mean, ask the insurance company. I bugged the shit out of them. And I'll keep on bugging the shit out of them until they do what they need to do. They're going to do their damn job. Call me a Karen all day long. I don't care. That does not affect me. You call me whatever you want to. It is not going to stop me. It's not going to deter me. You're not going to offend me. Call me whatever you want to. You can scream Karen in my face. It's not going to change what I do. I'm still going to, I'm going to keep on. So anyway. Um, so I talked to the, the claims person with the insurance. And, uh. He said, yeah, I'm going, to get, I'm going to get one of our general contractors to come out and we're going to peel that siding back and we're just going to look at it. We're just going to see what's going on. We're just going to take a look at this whole situation and then determine what's going on and who caused the problem. That's what we're going to do. And if we decide, if we determine that there is a problem that needs to be fixed and we determine that it is Paradise's fault, we will go after them for financial compensation. We will look for them to take care of paying for whatever's wrong back there. Now, I do have a $1,000 deductible on my homeowner's insurance. That's fine. He said we could even possibly go after them for that. But it, we don't know yet. It, right now, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know what we're going to see back there. So they're coming out tomorrow morning. And I, did, I called Jason again because I, I asked the the adjuster guy can I get a, a time frame because I want to call Paradise and give them the opportunity to be at my house when y'all come I want to give them a chance to have somebody there so do you have like a time frame so he gave me a time frame I said alright so I called Jason again had got his voicemail again and I told him you know alright I'm ha I, I have filed a claim with my homeowners insurance they did tell me to tell Paradise if they find Paradise to be at fault, they will go after them for financial compensation. Just He said, just go ahead and tell them now. If we find that they are to blame, we will go after them for to reimburse us for this. Um, just so they know. So they might want to have somebody out there. So, and I'm gonna I'm gonna video the whole thing. I'm gonna make a video of the entire thing start to finish. I want I want a video of the entire thing. So I want to document everything that I can. Peeling back the siding because what I'm afraid of is as petty as paradise is, they're going to come back and say, well, somebody else tampered with our siding. So that voids your warranty. I could totally see them doing that. I could totally see them saying that. Yeah, you let somebody else mess with it. So your warranty is null and void now. I could totally see them doing that. And they might, they might, but I'm going for it anyway. At this point, I would love to just rip all that damn siding off the back of my house. I really would. It's disgusting to me now. I just can't, I can't stand it. Um, 
So I, I told Jason what time the guy was going to be coming out. Here's the guy's name. He's coming out Thursday morning at this time. You know, if if you want to have somebody here, you are more than welcome to. Uh, the insurance people said it might be a good idea if you just send somebody out here from your company to just be here when the inspection is done. Just so we're all on the same page. Everybody sees the same thing at the same time. You know, there. So, but I haven't heard back from Jason. Of course, it is early. It's only about 8 o'clock in the morning. So, he may call me back. But at this point, honestly, I'm done talking to Paradise Home Improvement. I'm done talking to them. I have nothing else to say to them right now. I don't really feel the need to communicate with them any further. We're just going to wait and see what the inspection shows and I, I genuinely am hoping that we will pull it back and and they'll take a look and go yeah actually this is not a problem because of blah 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 there's nothing to worry about I don't see any mold I don't see any problems that's what I'm hoping for because right now I got enough other stuff going on like I really don't feel like dealing with that but I want to know for sure one way or the other so hopefully tomorrow morning I will find out something but yes I'm going to be making a I will be ha I will be making a video of the entire thing just for for me and for paradise if they don't have anybody show up which I have a feeling they won't I hope they send somebody out but if they don't that's on them I made sure to call and let them know what time to be there and what was going on but if they don't want to send anybody out that's their problem it'd be great if Sydney could come out because he is one of only two people of that whole company that I trust to actually be honest with me. I don't trust Jason as far as I could throw him or any of these other people I've talked to. Tawanya and Sydney are the only two people at that company that have any damn sense. Everybody else can go jump in a lake because they're dumb as hell. And I, I they, they lie. They lie. I'm calling them liars right now. I'll call them a liar to their face. They're liars. They know they are. Um. So anyway... So I did file a claim with my homeowner's insurance. Um, hopefully it's nothing. I hope I hope it's nothing. I really do. But we'll see. So I will I will let you know about that. I'll let you know how that turns out tomorrow. And then Friday I am getting my yard aerated and overseeded. And yesterday I had to mow the back. And what you have to do before you have it aerated and overseeded, you have to mow the grass down as low as possible to kind of shock the grass. Um, so I did, oh God, I forgot what a pain in the ass it was to mow it that low. I ended up with nine bags of clippings just from the backyard. It took me two hours because I had to keep stopping and emptying the bag, emptying the bag. I had nine bags of clippings and the grass wasn't even that tall. It wasn't that high at all. And tonight I have to do the front. I won't be able to go to an exercise class because that was my exercise class. I got a hell of a workout doing that yesterday god so i gotta do the front this evening and then tomorrow my kids are gonna be watering excuse me they're gonna be watering everything while i go to my class so i'm gonna have them in charge of the sprinklers and you know making sure everything gets watered so they're doing that so yeah so there's a whole lot of stuff going on next god next week i have a bunch of appointments too i have several other appointments let's see I have two more appointments this week. I got several next week. It's crazy. So what do we need for our southern fried salmon patties? I, I put a little mark by the ingredients that I don't have. I got to get eggs, onions, bell pepper, yellow cornmeal, garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce, and Texas peat hot sauce. Everything else I think I have. It's a really simple recipe. And I like to show simple recipes, which is basic ingredients that anybody can make. Um, I think it's also good for people who are trying to learn to cook more for themselves to save money. Because um, I'm all about that. I would rather just cook something at home than to go out to eat. Because anymore, God, it is so expensive to go out to eat. Not that we ever really did it anyway. But, you know, you can make a whole bunch of salmon patties for very little money. And they're surprisingly filling. They really are. So... Yeah, I have everything else. So, I'm going to go in and do some shopping. Got to make sure I have all my goodies here. I'm actually wearing sleeves today. Look at that. It's a little chilly this morning. I put on my Harley Davidson shirt. It's like a waffle knit shirt. Well, yeah. Harley Davidson. 
I found it at Goodwill. I thought it was cute. So, gotta have my earbuds right here. Wee! Got my money. Got my keys. Oh, I forgot my car insurance is due, too. I had to pay my car insurance this morning. I am just hemorrhaging money at this point. My God. Um, I did do the down payment on the Hardy board yesterday, too. Ugh. I'm going to be eating ramen for the next month. <laughs> Shit. But that's all right. I, I want to get it done. You know, I knew it was going to be expensive, so it's not like a, a shock to me. I knew it was going to be expensive, so... Yeah, now I gotta find somebody to paint the primed hardy board after it's put up. I think I found a company. There's there are several several companies around here that do painting that are, you know, they've been around forever. They have a really good reputation. I think I know who's gonna do it. I'm I think I know who I'm gonna try to get to do it. So anyway, I'm gonna get plugged up and I'm gonna go in there and, and I think we'll do a little shop with me and pick up some groceries. So, thank you so much for being here and for watching. I really hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon.